Carl Long in front of him, and we hear the caution has come out once again. You see the smoke and the problems on the back stretch. That's the 98 right there of Aaron Crocker. Aaron Crocker, and Gabby, Gabby DiCarlo are on board on that great clip. Chevrolet also involved. Jason Edleski in the 75 got turned around. See a lot of damage to that 98 car right there of Aaron Crocker. G leads the ARCA Remax Super Speedway Challenge coming in here. He has a pretty comfortable lead right now, but a uh, lot of damage to that Evernham Dodge. So the second caution of the night coming out on lap 35. We take a look back at why this caution came out. Try to make her way to pit road. Here it is, right here. Looked like Aaron might have made just a slight bit of contact with the 75 of Jason Hedleski, and when she did, then Gabby DiCarlo had nowhere to go. That that impeded Aaron's progress. Gabby ran in the back of her. Watch this right here. Yeah, the contact was actually, and I can't make out the number on that. That was, I think, that was the 75 of Jason Hedleski, was it not? No, Jason was over here, spun out on the side. Uh, to the left of us. So these two cars got involved, but I'm going to try to figure out who got into the back of the 98 of Aaron Crocker. Probably going to be somebody that comes down pit road with some damage. Yeah, How the, about that 25 the, car? It was possibly? the 25. That's exactly who it was. It was the 25 of Ryan Fisher that got into the back of the 98. You see all the damage to the front end is they come on to pit road. That's the Venturini Motorsports car. Ryan Fisher making his Arca Remax debut. So there were four cars involved in this one. The 98, the 90, the 75, and the 25. Again, Aaron Crocker will have the damage to the back end of that car. See where that 25 got into the back of the 98, got her turned around, and as she was turned around, the 90 of Gabby DiCarlo with nowhere to go got involved in that one as well.